welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am attempting Vlogmas. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this ever, let alone doing Vlogmas in my four and a half years of blogging. And I just thought, you know what, I really, no, actually I have a reason which I'm about to get into. But, so I do work, I work every day, so my vlogmas is going to be a kind of mixture of vlogs uh, and regular videos like hair videos and lifestyle videos but i'm going to do something i'm going to try my utmost to do a video every single day so pencil it in turn on your notifications because there's going to be some content every single day every single day which actually leads me, I'm doing my makeup as I chat to you, which actually leads me on to why I decided to do this. So if you have watched my uh, video, which is called this YouTube thing, where I did get quite emotional, I, I was in a really, I was in a rut and I was in limbo and I hadn't really decided whether or not I was going to take a job, which would mean quitting all of my kind of creative things and things that I've wanted to do with my life um, and I'll leave that video if you do want to have a watch of that before this video um, but I'm here to let you know guys I have decided to give it one last go I didn't take the job and I'm really really going to try this time because I have to accept a little bit of responsibility in that I haven't been the most consistent on YouTube um, and I also think that because I haven't been consistent I've just been kind of like putting out content which maybe people weren't as interested in but I feel like now if I give myself a focus and I really listen in um, to what you guys want and be consistent and put some good stuff out hopefully I'm gonna speak into existence we can get this channel to 100 Okay, that is my ultimate. I just want a little plaque to say, you know what, Zara, you have achieved something. So that's what I'm doing. And not only that, but I'm going back to drama school. Well, fingers crossed anyway, I have an audition next week and I'm gonna give acting a go. I'm gonna give all this creative stuff a go, a real solid attempt. I am sick. <laughs> I, I don't know if I even mentioned it in my last video, but you know, I'm kind of fed up of people saying to me, you know, you have the potential, like, you, you have the potential to do this. No, I, w I want to actually do it. I want to do it and achieve it and have people be like, you're frigging good at this, you know? So that's where we're at. And that's why I want to do Vlogmas. I don't want any excuses anymore. I, I want to really give it a good go. And I am giving myself a time frame for this, you know, before I perhaps move on to other things but I feel like I am still young enough and I do still have that time and ability right now and blessings to be able to give it one last try. So forgive me if you told me to take the job because I've decided against it. I did tell my, ma oh, look at me shaking my brush. I did tell my manager actually, who offered me the job in the first place, I did say, I'm giving acting one more go and he was like good for you and let me know if you need any help he's he's such a kind man and maybe actually I will muster up the courage to be like hey throw some casting directors my way um but uh yeah so he he wasn't disappointed or anything he was just like go on you can do it Zara so I feel like I can and so vlogmas starts tonight also, another thing is, everyone in the comments, thank you so much to every single person that responded. I had such a great outpouring from everyone. I took all, all of your comments seriously and on board and I told my mum and I told my boyfriend. I asked every single one of my friends, everyone that I know, I was like, I need some help, I need some advice here. And all of you said to pray on it. I'm not the most religious person, but I do believe in a higher power. I do believe there is a God, personally. And so I did, I prayed. And I actually went into, I was in town and I just saw a church, and it was open, so I went in. 
and they had like this board which was a, a prayer board and they said you know write down what you'd like someone to pray for and you put it down and then they have like prayer groups which pick cards and they pray for you so I wrote down on a card like please give me some guidance point me in the right direction just basically let me know I'm on the right path I was I was quite blasé I wasn't like should I choose the job or not pray for me but I was kind of like I just want a sense of what I'm meant to do with my life and listen I don't know if it's a testimony but after that I got in succession three sponsored blog projects this is from having zero in my years of blogging and pitching and all of this kind of stuff zero sponsored work I have had three projects so I've done two already and I'll leave them down below do drop a comment on my blog and I have one coming for next year so it's just like it made me feel like my content is good enough and I am doing the right thing and I am good at this so yeah it, it, it just felt like I was doing the right thing so I was on an absolute high like I don't know if you guys follow me oh my god I've been talking for six minutes now and I'm really blurry, sorry. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which you should, I I put on Instagram stories that I was feeling like something good was gonna happen, like I just felt really good. And my sponsorships came in and wanting to do this as a career, having those sponsorships come through, it was just, oh, I don't know, it just made me feel great and I just felt like, wow, that was the turn, that was what I was waiting for. So, here we are. I want to get to 100K. I want to do this. I want to work hard. So Vlogmas starts now, starts this evening. I've got my friend's birthday, so we're gonna go out for that. Um, she's very kindly said, yes, you can vlog. <laughs> um, some of them you might recognize. I'm not sure if they've been on this channel or my other channel. Um, but I've got Eleanor, Kate and Rianne. Rianne's a bit of a celeb, so I don't know if she'll want to be on the camera, uh, but Eleanor has been quite a few times, so I'm sure she'll, she'll want to. She might actually be starting the channel as well, which honestly, she's hilarious. She is, she keeps me young. So I'm sure you guys would love her channel if she does um, end up deciding to do that. I've been harping on for ages. I'm just gonna finish my makeup and then I'll come back to you, but that's where we are. I, I didn't take the job. I'm still here one last time. I need your help as well though. Just share my shit around, okay? I have to show you the birthday card that I got for Eleanor. Her birthday was a couple of weeks ago and Rianne's was a couple of days ago. So I figure I'd give it both of them their birthday cards. But this is the one that I got for Eleanor and I just have to show you. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't I don't know if she even likes cats like she's got uh she's had two dogs before sadly um one did pass away but she's more of a dog person um but I just thought this was hilarious and I feel like she can hack this kind of card do you know what I mean this is mimosas for mr and mrs by opi I got them done the other day, so really nice and icy pink, pale pink, but I think it's really nice. Those are some jeggings from, these are some coated jegging jean things that I got from ASOS and I'm kind of undecided whether or not to keep them. Anyway, you can't really see in this tragic light, but I just thought I'd show you what I am wearing. It is this oversized jumper. And then I've got some Stuart Weitzman boots on. I love them. I highly recommend Stuart Weitzman as a brand. But, you know, invest in the boots. They're expensive, but as you can see, they just fit to your leg and look like the leg is a lot longer. I really want to get the Highlands. But, yeah, that's what I've got so far. And I've got two pairs of leggings on because it is freezing outside. Freezing. I'm so, like, worried about January because January is typically colder in the UK or certainly in London um, but it's already like three degrees outside in December or end of November and then I figured I would also bring my Russell and Bromley bag because this poor little thing has not really seen the light of day that it deserves 
So yeah, really beige brown because my boots are dark brown. And yeah, so that's everything. Let's have my nose. Look at what I've just managed to do. I've squeezed all of my hair underneath this Baker's Boy hat. Super cute, it's from Zara if you're wondering. And also I just thought I'd show you my makeup. Super simple as always, but it's pretty much all Fenty Beauty with a mix of Glossier on the lips and MAC blush. Hello. Do you want to be in it or not? Well, You've been in it before. I have been in it before. Yeah, there's Kate. Hi everyone. There's Els. Rianne, do you want to be in it? <laughs> Go on then, there's the birthday girl. It was Elle's birthday a couple weeks ago, but this day is not about you, I'm afraid. <laughs> Are you filming for your vlog? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, do you have a vlog? I'm flying it, yeah. yeah. that hilarity oh such a good evening catching up with them and I was saying to them because uh, Rianne and Kate I haven't seen god I haven't seen Kate in like several months oh my god I probably haven't seen them since like last year actually now that I think about it I've seen Eleanor obviously in the summer um, but yeah we were saying how nice it is that even when we go out we just start talking immediately like we never left each other and those are the best kinds of friendships when they're just supernatural like that. So it was so, so funny because straight after, because Ellen is vlogging as well. Like I've got her into this, so she is definitely going to start a channel. Um, and she was vlogging tonight. And there's a piano at Tottenham Court Station. And she was like, should I play that? Like, is should I put that on the vlog? Because she, her and Rianne, in fact, her, Rianne and Kate used to play piano. Um, so they know how to do it. And she was like, right, you film for me. Like, so I was filming her camera, so I couldn't use mine to show you. And Kate was using Eleanor's phone to film her on that on Snapchat. And it was so funny because she was playing like really nice, but she kept forgetting notes. So she'd be like, da -la 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 -la, and then she'd be like, like, and she'd stare at us and go, I forgot it. I forgot it. And then carry on again, like, da -la 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 -la. Like, and the TFL guy came over and was like, do you guys have to do this every time you all go out? Like, is she the center of attention? And we were like, yes, like everything. We have to film it. We have to document it. I don't know how she would have coped if it was like the 1920s because everything has to be documented and posted, but it's part of her charm. So it'll be quite funny. Hopefully she can give me the clips. If not, I'll definitely link her vlog when she puts it out so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I was crying with laughter, it was so funny. <laughs> and I actually forgot to show you, I got my hands on the wet brush. I really like the Tangle Teaser, I think it's pretty darn good. Um, but I'm really intrigued to see how this would fare. It says it's for all hair types. <laughs> Whenever something says it's for all hair types, I get a little bit sceptical. But I'm quite intrigued because, like, the the base isn't like a cushion. It's firm. And then the bristles are really, really small and fine. I've got it in a nice purple colour because purple's my favourite. So I'm actually going to do my hair now and see how I get on. And I'm going to love you and leave you. Until next time. <laughs>